this guy right here. I took this whole. I got my all corn meal egg whites. That's it. That's what he's gonna be eating. Why? How about go somewhere else? It's not working. No, this thing says cheap cheap corn are not allowed. So all of my corn are new. They're not going. So recently it was your birthday. How do you how do you feel about that? You turned 40. I feel great. Another 10 more years to get the 55. Oh. <laughs> I know we went out to your birthday. You had your steak, you had broccoli, you kept it clean, stuck to your diet. Not, not even a birthday. This guy didn't this guy didn't eat cake. Okay. And well, uh, unfortunately now we gotta do that show showdown. So I have to lean out. So this guy's leaning out. I'm eating corn nuts. Getting on zero carbs, zero sugar, nothing on this trip, which would be a great cardio for me. And, and he really sticks to his diet. I'll give you that. Like he never folds for his diet. I never met anybody that just doesn't eat carbs. The first day I went to his house, expired cereal. Like, this guy does not <laughs> eat carbs. You know, expired oatmeal. No carbs. He's really sticking to it. How did it feel when you first got your roll? Well, here's the thing. Um, Exotic car, you know, fast cars, Lamborghini, Ferraris, anything, right? Body. I'm, I'm not into fast cars. I mean, I like to look at them, but I'm like kind of a big dude. Like, it's not comfortable. I'm not into a speed eater. So, honestly, I don't really care. For, for me, I like comfort. So, I always want to get something that it's, you know, I can keep it and then I lose it. about six hours um, the road is just like that as you see Mammoth is part of California it's one of my favorite mountain ski it's very long there's nothing here and you don't really feel like you're going up the mountains because the road is super long compared to the you know, big bear because big bear just like everything goes up straight up and you get a headache so Perfect time to leave around 2 p.m. We get around 8 p.m. Good sleep. Make up about 6 o'clock. And hit the slopes. And let's not mention last time you came over here, you were having carbs. This time, yeah. This well, time, yeah, straight icon. Straight icon, full protein. on diet. Protein. 
You got that 21 day challenge, yeah. 20 days now. I, well, that's the way it works for me. You know, I cut the carb, I cut the sugar completely, and I use a high protein to maximize the metabolism. So you know, I stay healthy too. You can't just have some not good protein, you know, have a digestion or a liver problem. So, which most people get into that. So, uh, I do the lifestyle for the short term. It works. So Sean, when did you uh, first move to the U.S.? How old were you, and why did you why, why did you move to the U.S. First of all, what, what, what brought you over here? Uh, growing up, well, I'm originally from Iran. My mom, my dad, Persian, but I'm quarter Russian. My grandpa, my mom's side, Russian. I'm part from uh, North Iran, Azerbaijan. So. Uh, The reason I picked computer science because I, I love technology. So I was like, and then that was the time all the dot com stuff was coming up. So all right, by the time we graduated, all that basically changed. Like you know, dot com crashes. And, uh, all the jobs actually start going out outsourced. So yeah. um, anyway, I work when I graduated. I worked in that field for a year or two. Yeah. Experiment job, but I was it was I was not feeling it. And um, start doing a mortgage business. My friend start, started it. So I was like 25, 26, I should make sure good money. Right when I get into it, get to used to making the good money, <laughs> and then that crashed. As I was learning that, doing that, and I started doing home renovation business because I ended up like, you know, 
sourcing a lot of real estate, that, you know, to remodeling and stuff. But all that went out the window after a, a home crisis. And then, uh, and then I started doing a, a, a slow, slow get into a, a stock market. Like, yeah. I was like, you know what? Like, I started learning about it, reading, and then I actually opened my account at a certain point. Small trades, learning, learning about the companies, about the GDP, about all that. And, uh, which I started doing day trading, actually, I got my um, Series 2 license, and I was, you know, killing it for, for a while. But here was the problem was, it was really stressful, like, you know, day trading, especially living in, like, you know, California, in right. this, you know, right. Pacific time, you know, yeah. you know, like, market was 6.30 a.m., you know, like, 5, and just, uh, you know, start, like, you know, research, or whatever you want to do. So, the time was really bad, too. And, you know, a lot of stress. I made a lot of money, I lost a lot of money, and actually, when I had my car, or at that time, with, you know, doing yeah. day trading, so I saved some money, and, uh, did that, but I always hated that. I was like, you know, if I could do something else, it is my passion. It was not my passion, it was just a stress. Yeah. Um, I would have done that. So, I think about like four, 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 five, five, six years, yeah, did, you know, day trading, and I just like want to stop. So, fitness. So crazy because bodybuilding fitness it was my thing, but it was my passion. It was kind of part of my life. Something you enjoy. Yeah, I was never doing it, you know, to compete. I didn't really care. I didn't really care who's the bodybuilder, who, all that. And it wasn't my kind of a goal that you know making money out of it. I was, at the end of the day, I want to do something that is my passion, what I love, but I still can make money. Exactly. But it doesn't mean that you know it's something you like. It's like it's a hobby. No, yeah. it's not become a business, you know what I mean? Right. And I don't want a simple life, so... And, and I know fitness, everybody doing the same thing, the same workout, same coaching, or same whatever. Exactly. So you're saying it'd be unique. Yeah, and then I wanted something unique, if I wanted to do something. Anyway, the way it all started, like, I used to just dial in, uh, every few years, yeah. Every, every year or two, and then like, I'll do just photo shoots, and just for myself, just test myself, put it myself, you know, like intense diet, you know, yeah. see how far I can. And every year, I'm gonna look at the old picture, okay, now I improve myself. That was my, that was my measurement, like, you know, rather than doing computer and stuff, yeah. just do it for me. So you were just yeah. holding accountable yeah. yourself for your mm -hmm. results. That's great. I guess that's how you develop that, you know, diet discipline. Yeah, diet discipline came later. So what it was, always great. Every year that I was doing the photo shoot, I was learning something that I didn't know last year. Yeah. So, but my workout, like, just that, that prep that few days before the photo shoot, you know, you gotta take yeah. the water out and put the carb, you know, sugar, so you get a great pump. If you do it wrong, you look flat, or you look all bloated, vice versa. worse. And I never pay attention to the diet. I always pay attention to like training and just a little bit cardio. So one of my friends was into this for a long time. He actually showed me one time, hey, you should you know cut the corn, the vegetables. So actually, he taught me how to eat healthy. Mm -hmm. and I was just, I was a person he didn't. But that's the thing though, that's the thing though. Do you have photos of you being 17 and I think your 20s, but you've always been ripped. So I was always been in shape, I would never been out of shape, I would never be fat, and because, yeah. and all because I was training all the time. I was like active person, you know, wintertime doing skiing, summertime and all that it comes up, I do different sports. So you always been active. Been active, bodybuilding, like I literally. Lifting, I would do it every day. It wasn't just like for body for me, it was like mental. It was a part of my therapy. So if I didn't work out one day, it was great. So um, yeah. anyway, but being in a perfect shape and a great shape is totally different. Yeah, so exactly. just a little bit of change could be body fat and muscle, or like the way your muscle maturity is, makes a huge difference. 
Anyway, every every year that I did a photo shoot, I learned that I'm also at the same time I'm seeing more results, the body have improving, like getting maturity, muscle size, more fibers, better shape, and what I'm need to work on. Basically, all it was just me valuing myself. Look at me, I wasn't asking anybody for me. Anyway, um, so after all that, so the last time that I started doing that was like, so I learned a lot about the diet. So I'm like, I'm that in all the way in, and actually some new tricks in the cardio. Yeah. So there might have to be done before. That's how my body fat's coming very low, and it was this machine in the gym, or measure it. it was, I never had access to machines to, you know, to measure my body fat, yeah. this time I was doing that. So, I got super lean, like was about 7%, like, from my friend that, you know, Jason yeah. was shooting pictures, like, dude, you look great, this is gonna spray tan, you know, just gonna shoot. I'm like, okay, and then one day I was sitting with my friends, I don't know, I had the conversation came up. I was like, I want to bring my body fat under five percent. They were like, bro, five percent natural, especially not natural. I did any drugs, any history, any kind, nothing. So I was like, there is no way you can do it naturally. Number one, if you do that, you're gonna lose muscles. Number two, you're not gonna look good. Da, 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 da. So everything. So I'm very kind of a uh, competitive person. If somebody said you can't do it, sure. Yeah, you feel like, wait, yeah. let, let me show you real quick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that, so exactly. I beat it. So what I did, so... And you I, did, you recently posted a video of you being 3%. Yeah, that, that was, that was a wrong half of that, but the way how it started was that I, um, so I started eating different, less car, just protein, I don't know, eating a lot of chicken and broccoli. But it came to the point where my body fat is somewhere like 6.5% when I go lower. Every day working out, same cardio, one hour cardio, same master, body system. You feel like they hit that wall, they want to break through. Something hit me, it's like, what if I start stop lifting for two weeks, just give it a try. Stop lifting for two weeks and just two hours of stair master, and diet would be like even more intense, less than like the carbs out. Yeah, exactly. Really hard in the beginning. Like, the time I was just like fade out, stairmaster, remember? But I kind of saying something was still in my head. If you keep going, the body gonna adjust, your mind gonna adjust. But you did. If you can, after 15, 20 minutes, feeling a lot like, you know, I felt like nausea, I wanna pass out, or like, you know, dizzy. All of a sudden, I felt great because the body was like, the mind was so forced, to, you know, to push the body to go after any fat for a source of energy. And that's when you feel great because that energy came up from burning the fat. And I felt like it, was, it is working. So two weeks, I stopped doing lifting. The reason why I stopped doing lifting, so I didn't want to get too exhausted. And also, when you don't lift, you don't eat as much. So we don't eat. You don't need that much eating. So yeah, you uh, consume less car calories. You have exactly. the words. You have like two weeks, one to under five percent. Damn, and that's you know, the other five percent is crazy because you see the separation somewhere in area that you don't see. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like that two percent, that is two percent, but it's not because it's about fifty percent for it was. So for now, you know, we talk about from seven to five, it's like 30 40 percent, you know yeah. what I mean? So, and that's huge. I got it to five percent, I look great, and I, you know, when I did the video shoot. I never had that body look ever before. So I was really pleased. So I'm getting a lot of compliment from it. And what happened was one of my friends was like, okay, hey, so how long you, you know, so what? You gonna go eat next day or what are you gonna do now? Like, you know what I mean? Just gonna leave that, go back to normal. Yeah. Or, I'm like, no, I'm gonna hold this. I was like, you know, hold this. I'm like, yeah, why not? I feel great. I look great. And I can turn it into a lifestyle. And I start like, the crazy thing was, I started doing this little story on, on Instagram, and everybody was watching it. I didn't have that much to follow, it was like, just random people were like very close to like, my, my close friends. And I remember one time I was going to my bank, one of the tailors from the back called me, I didn't even know the person. He's like, Mr. Five, 
percent. Hey, five oh, five oh, nine. Somebody might not even be a good looking. 
it, but it has that cool, unique, badass look that makes them pop in. People love to look at it, or love to, you know, you know uh, take a style from them. Exactly. Yeah.